Welcome to my channel. I'm Lawrence Owen, and today we're going to do a film room. We're going to do a film room about the Indianapolis Colts' fourth round draft pick, Kylan Granson, out of SMU. Now, the reason I'm having this little bit of introductory is to let you know a little bit about Granson before we get into the film. First and foremost, he was a tight end for SMU. He was with Rice in the CUSA conference for his first two seasons. Then he went to SMU in the American Conference. Now, what kind of competition is the American Conference? Well, Granson played against teams like Cincinnati, Tulsa, Memphis, UCF, Houston, Navy, Tulane, East Carolina, Temple, and South Florida. Now, this is not, you know, the SEC or the Big Ten, but it is a fairly competitive conference and they played very, very well in said conference. Last season, they were even ranked in the top 25 for a lot of the season. Now, Granson's stats during that period of time. Well, as a junior, he actually played 12 games. Had 721 yards and 9 touchdowns. That's 16.8 yards of reception in 2019. That's unbelievable. That's like huge standout numbers. Had he went into the draft from that, he would have been picked in probably the second round. He was a ridiculously good tight end during that period of time. Now, last year, it was the COVID season. He still played 10 games. He had 35 receptions, 536 yards, and 5 touchdowns. That's 15.3 yards of reception. But why, why was it such a big separation between 2019 and 2020? Well, to be fair, they went run heavy more often in 2020 than they did pass heavy. Now, why does that make a big difference? Well, that helps me out a lot because in my opinion, I want my tight ends to be able to run and pass block, not just catch the football. Yes, even my speedy athletic tight ends, I want them to be able to put hands on people, to be able to help in the run game, in the pass game, in pass blocking if needed. And Kylan Granson... Let's face it, you go look around and, and, and you see what other people are saying. They're saying he can't block. I'm telling you, that is complete and utter BS. Okay? From what I'm telling, does he, does he block like an offensive lineman? No, he's not an offensive lineman. But he's a darn good blocker for a speedy athletic tight end. And we're going to get into that. Now, yes, I'm going to show you a couple clips of what he could do through the air. But this this film room is mainly to show you that he is an all-around tight end, and I think he's going to be very, very productive, not just catching the ball, but helping in the run game as well. Let's get into it. Now, in this play, it's a two-tight end set. You see Granson right here and another tight end in front of him. He is offset from the tackle on the outside. And this play is designed to have a guard pull, right? And the tight end in front of him is supposed to take this guy. While the guard runs right in between, right behind Granson and hits uh, guys in the, in the second level to free him up right off tackle. But the tight end in front of Granson does not do that. Instead of taking that outside guy out here... He comes down and doubles on this defensive lineman. Watch Granson's reaction. He stops, realizes that the outside edge guy was free. Had Granson not stopped and had the awareness to realize this guy was coming off scot-free, stopped and blocked him, the running back would have been hit in the backfield for a big loss. What? Look how long he holds this block. Look at this. He holds that block that entire time. That's an amazing job, by the way, by the running back to avoid the tackle in the backfield on the outside rush. But he would have never been able 
to hold it off. Had Granson not realized what the tight end in front of him did, came back and stopped and sealed his edge. I mean sealed it. For a good, you know, three, four seconds. That's an amazing job by Kylan Granson. Not only uh, blocking that edge rusher, but also just having the awareness to stop, come back, and get him in the first place. That's a great job by Kylan. Great job. This is another play where Kylan Granson bails out another fail by a fellow blocker on his team. And this time it's the left tackle. Watch the left tackle come out. He's supposed to take this Mike linebacker and doesn't get out fast enough. Who ends up taking him? Kylan Granson. Watch Granson as he takes out, goes out wide, lines up, squares up, puts shoulders on him, and keeps pushing him. He never has a chance. Never has a chance on the running back right here. This is all Granson. Look at the tackle. He's out here not helping anywhere. He's just like, what am I doing? But Granson, no, 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 no. Hack that hat, shoulder pad to shoulder pad, pushing, 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 all the way out. Never has a chance on the running back. That is a great job on a stretch run play. Blocking by Kylan Granson. So that is another form of block. Out in open space, finds the Mike linebacker and blocks him completely out. That's that's just that's fantastic for a uh, for a tight end, for him to hold his block as long as he did. Great job. Here's another example of a different type of block. By Kylan Granson. On this one, he's going to pull across. Right here, you're going to watch him pull across and seal the backside pursuit. And as he does it, oh my goodness. He not only stops one guy, he stops two. He's got the corner and the linebacker both coming around. He stops, sees him at the last second, and just lines himself up and sets for the impact. Watch him come around. Watch his feet as he realizes... Oh, crap, they're both coming. He stops them both right off the edge. He doesn't give ground. He takes this guy and he pushes him out. Out. No chance of getting the pursuit. This is another really, really great example of Kylan having a great job blocking in the run game. My goodness. It's absolutely amazing that he was able to set himself for the impact of two guys and doesn't doesn't not only not get knocked over and blocked down, but holds his spot. Neither one of them were able to get around. Kylan is just a fantastic run blocker. He's got a lot of a lot of different skills that he uses. No, he's not the biggest guy. He's not you know, number 78 or something like that, or 51, you know, where he's up here and has a, he should be able to, like, push guys back all the time, defensive linemen. No. But I'll tell you what, to be able to take on two guys at once and not really give up anything, you know, and, and use that momentum to push him out rather than give up ground behind, that's an amazing job. I mean, a fantastic job right there. This is my last clip of Kylan Granson blocking from his traditional tight end spot. And on this play, again, it shows his ability to adjust, be aware, great footwork, great technique in blocking. On this play, you'll see he's lined up at the outside tight end position right here. And he notices that the linebacker he's supposed to block takes an inside cut route. Instead of going outside... He goes inside. Look at Granson. He just smooths around that left tackle and meets him right in the hole. Right in the hole. Look how tight and up against that that right here, this already established block. He just meets right up with him, gets inside, and meets him head on right in there. Great, great job on this play. Of keeping tied up against the already established block, getting meeting the defender right in the hole, 
and stopping what could have been a big tackle for loss and allowing his running back to make a big, big play downfield. This is why I think Granson is going to exceed expectations for the Indianapolis Colts because at his traditional spot at tight end, he not only has very good technique, he knows how to use the leverage of his body and absorb an impact from an even bigger guy. And uh, he's got great awareness, understanding who needs blocked and when. And because of that, it's his blocking ability is the reason why, one of the reasons, SMU ran the ball more in 2020 than what they did in 2019. Because they knew that Granson, even though he's out on the field and he's a great receiver, this man can block and allow his running backs to explode for more yardage than what a regular receiving tight end would. And when you already have a really good offensive line with the Indianapolis Colts and a very, very good stable of running backs, Kylan Granson is going to fit in very, very well. Let's go check the next clip. You're still here? Awesome! Thanks for watching this stream. Please, if you have a moment of your time, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you're notified next time I go live. And if you got a few extra seconds, hit that description down there below the video and check out all the places that you can follow me, whether it be Sportscaster here on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and there's a couple places where you can help donate to my channel. That way I can continue to bring all this content to you. Thank you for your support. Now, let's get back to the video. Make sure to check out the Colts Law Merch Shop. The link is in the description of this video. There are a ton of high quality, reasonably priced items there that you can choose from. And all you got to do is just click one button and you can go and check out all these great merchandise items. Now, as an athletic tight end, you're going to see Kylan Granson split out wide multiple times. Uh, not just for passing situations, but what about like screens or blocking out wide? Things like that. You know, not traditionally tied up against the offensive line. Now, on this play, this is a trips right screen to the wide receiver. And you're going to watch Granson on this play right here. He's right out here. He comes out. He looks. His first guy is that linebacker. That's his job, right? Put hands on the linebacker and get him out because you're not expecting a wide receiver to stop the linebacker, right? Now, on this play, this is bad situation football right here. This is not a very good block by, I mean, legitimately, the wide receiver pushed the corner right into the other receiver who caught the football. Lucky this wasn't tackle for loss, okay? And the reason why I say that is because had this been effective, effectively blocked by that wide receiver, this screenplay could have went huge. Why? Let's say that was Michael Pittman Jr. or Zach Pascal right here pulling this block, and he's able to catch this football and go out. Now, Granson has got that linebacker set up. Granson comes out as we watch, comes out, establishes, wait, watch he waits till the ball's caught, then makes the impact with the linebacker so that there's no flag, right? And when he does make that impact, he holds this block for a good three seconds. And he doesn't give up ground. No, look, he's pushing him backwards. He's, he keeps pushing him. He almost gets him out of the screen, keeps pushing him back. Had that been a catch, by T.Y. Hilton or Paris Campbell, and this would have been blocked out by Zach Pascal. he would have been either way on either side of Granson and would have been well past Granson before they got near the uh, sideline. Probably would have went for huge yards. Granson doesn't know whether to block him 
out towards the sideline or towards inside. All he's supposed to do is put hands on him and make sure that he can't move forward to make a play. Granson's block here allows for positive yards on this screenplay against a linebacker. And he pushed the linebacker backwards for a few yards. Imagine if that was a corner or a safety. That probably would have been a pancake. My goodness. Seems like he's a great blocker no matter where he's at on the field. Now, the Indianapolis Colts don't carry a traditional fullback on their roster. They haven't done it in a long time. They they thought about doing it with Knicks uh, a while back from Pittsburgh, but he just didn't make the roster. But you know what? Kylan Granson, he can fill that role. When you need a fullback and you need two tight ends and a fullback to go with your running back on short down, short yarded situations or something, he can do that. Watch Granson here. This is a me- Watch this linebacker. This shows the kind of awareness he has. That linebacker, right before the snap, completely changed his position. Went to the outside and blitzed around the edge. And Granson was not caught unaware. Watch watch this linebacker here. He's all the way back. He's a good, almost, what, eight yards off the line of scrimmage. And as the ball snap comes around the edge, Granson notices it the whole time. The linebacker had a running full head of steam start and Granson sealed him off, kept him off the running back and allowed the running back to gain huge yards down the field. That is amazing. This dude has got some serious body size over Granson and watch what Granson does. He noticed him immediately, went up, leaned into it and took him completely out of the play. Kylan Granson can play fullback that again, is another reason why he is going to have a huge benefit being on the Colts roster because the Colts have not had a guy who can really play fullback in years. They have to put offensive linemen or something there where Granson's fast enough to stay out in front of running backs if he needs to. Plus, he's got great awareness. My goodness. And it's not like Kylan Granson only played fullback a couple times. He's actually lined up at fullback quite a bit for SMU. And that's a that's a huge benefit. That means that he knows the position well enough. Watch here. He stays right here at the fullback position. And what's he do? He seals that out. He, he comes up. He notices, oh crap, there's a guy coming. Corner blitz right here. And he picks him up to keep the backside pursuit off. And allows the running back big yardage again. Watch as he sits. He normally would cut out right in front of the running back right here. But then he notices at the last second, there he is. And that block right there helped spring the running back. Yes, it wasn't right in front of the running back. But had he not blocked him, again, that could have been tackled right around this position. Because, bam, right? Had he not noticed it, that is the beauty of a fullback position. If you play the fullback position, you get a little bit better view, this whole area in front of you. And he watches. He's got great vision. I mean, his field of vision is amazing when it comes to blocking. You can see stuff out the corner of his eye, right? He sees the guy coming around the edge, right out the corner at the last second, is able to stop and reset himself to make that block. Man. I'm kind of excited just to see all the different ways Frank Wright can line Kylan Granson up because you know Frank Wright loves to to draw up plays. And when you got a guy that can play multiple positions and do multiple jobs at those positions, he's going to find a way to utilize that. And Granson is going to be on the field a lot. All right, we've talked enough about Kylan Granson and his run-blocking ability. I just wanted to point that out hardcore to disprove all that crap that Kylan Granson can't block. Not only can he block, he can block from about any position on the field, all right, and does it well, which, you know, was my point for this whole thing. Now we're going to get into a few clips on why he's going to be um, very good at the receiver position, at being able to to do things uh, to help with the passing game And on this play, he split out wide right 
wide right. He's got a cornerback on him. And watch what he does to the cornerback. Er, er, inside, outside, inside. He's open. He's got two steps on him. Watch this. Cut back out. And it's the head movement. He, his whole body. His whole body says, I'm going this way. And he made the corner cut. This ball had the had the quarterback waited a half a second. He had him wide open up the middle for a monster gain down the field. Monster gain. But he, he, you know, decides the short yardage pass right here on the outside for the first down. But look what he does to this corner. Oh, oh my goodness. That is such a great change of direction. Great ability to sell that change of direction. The way his whole body moves that way, and he thinks that it's going to be a crossing route with that receiver. No, nah, that's beautiful. That's that's positively beautiful. And if you can do that to cornerbacks, imagine if it's a safety or a linebacker on you. You're going to lose him in a heartbeat. He's, he's going to break open huge gains. Kylan Granson's field vision is not just good for blocking, you know. It's also good for seeing where a block might come from and where the best route to take to get big yardage. And on this play, Kylan Granson not only shows off his vision, but his speed as well. Watch him right here off the traditional. Come around here, turn around, catch this football. And as soon as he turned, he's seen he had a blocker coming up to peel him off of him. Gets around the defender, and it's just a foot race. It's a foot race with everybody. And Granson is able to outrun them all the way to the end zone. My goodness. That is a great first step. Watch how quickly he gets up to speed. I mean, he got up to speed immediately. Turns the corner and is gone. I mean, gone. Whoo! That's big play potential out of a short yardage catch. As much as I love Jack Doyle. You're not getting this from Jack Doyle, okay? Jack's going to catch that ball and probably going to get tackled for a 10-yard gain. Kylan Granson turns that 10-yard gain into a much, much bigger gain, right? Much bigger. He turned a lousy little 10-yard gain into a 55-yard catch and run. A 55-yard catch and run. Used his vision to see a block coming to help peel his guy that was defending him off of him. And just accelerated past everybody else. That's something the Colts have not had. Yes, we've had, the Indianapolis Colts have had guys like Eric Ebron, right? Trey Burton, guys who can catch and run. But their vision wasn't very good. Their hands wasn't very good. Yes, Granson had three drops in one game. That was an anomaly, okay? One game he had those drops. Outside of that, he, he didn't have multiple drops in single games. It's an anomaly. Throw it away. Big deal. This kind of production is what the Indianapolis Colts need from their tight ends. Not only the ability to block, but to catch, burst, have vision to use the blockers in front of you. Kylan Granson is going to have a great... I mean, for a fourth-round pick, this dude is amazing. Whatever you do, don't tell me Kylan Granson is not a tough SOB. All right, this kid is about as tough as they come when it comes to playing the tight end position. I mean, for his size, anyhow. He's a speed-receiving, athletic tight end who can not only catch and run, but has, um, I mean, his toughness, he can deliver a hit as well as he could take a hit. And then because he could do that, if he stays on his feet after that, watch this. All right. I can't get it the whole way, but watch the quarterback does a good job extending the play and he sees Granson open. He throws it. Granson catches this football knowing he's going to get hit. Look at it. He lowered his shoulder and delivered the boom. I mean, he delivered a boom on that safety as he came down on him. Safety thought he was going to lay Granson out. 
Granson had other ideas. He knew he was coming. Catches his football. Nice turn. Bam! Sit down. And he turns. And then look at the acceleration. These guys should have had him back 15 yards behind where he, he got an extra 15 yards because of his acceleration. His acceleration, my goodness. This guy not only shows toughness, bam! And then accelerates to gain a lot of extra yards after contact. <laughs> I love me some Kylan Granson. Just because a guy's a player is not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.